everyone welcome to my channel and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, this is the next video tutorial and the first topic is create connection string in app settings store session file in the app settings store session file you have to just create a connection string by these parameters in the connection string we have some parameters like connection strings uh, it means you can create a multiple connection string in this uh, in this curly brackets okay so the default connection is the connection name and in which the connection here we have a server I mean to say that database server uh, that data uh, database engine name is local DB double slash MS SQL local DB and the database name is uh, ASP.NET 1 that is the tutorial uh, ASP.NET uh, DB okay ASP.NET do a DBYT there is the uh, database name and trusted connection is true and uh, it means to say that th there is a default window security provided and here we have a multiple active results that is also true so it means you can create multiple uh, multiple queries uh, to the database so just save this connection string so this is the connection string you can save in your app settings store session file now after that uh, just go for your uh, the next part that is your data access layer in the data access layer uh, you just go for first of all generic repositories in the generic repositories uh, just you can say uh, infra uh, generic repository so here we have just add a generic repositories or just you can just remove this uh, folder first of all and before going for the generic repositories first of all add a application db context file in the data section so add new item and here we have just add a new class application db context so here we have a class application db context and that is publicly inherited okay so that class is uh, actually um, inherited with the db context but but in the later videos i will use identity so that class must do inherit from the identity db context so before inherited uh, must to add some packages some nuget packages so just right click on your project name and just go for the browse tab and just type mm, mm, that is the name mm, identity and here we have uh, some uh, identities related uh, names uh, packages microsoft.aspnet code identity and uh, microsoft.aspnet code dot identity dot entity framework core so that project is actually built in the framework dot uh, net core 6.0 so the latest uh, stable 6.0.7 so just click on the uh, agree and here we have just you can use identity db context and just use control dot key and here we have is using microsoft asp.net core dot identity dot entity framework core now after that you can create constructor and in the constructor you can say uh, just pass a db context option And the DB context option is actually exist in entity framework core, and in which you can pass application DB context. Okay, now after that you can just create option variable with the base. Also pass this option in the base class constructor. 
now after that you have to uh, create your physical table by using dbset so prop dbset the model name that is category that is actually exist in the models uh, architecture that category and product so just click control dot and add reference e-commerce app dot models similarly with the product okay so that's fine now after that just go for the repositories that is the generic repositories so here we have a data is clear now go for the infrastructure first of all create i generic repository interface in the infrastructure portion In the i in uh, i generate repository just you can create a uh, some classes so first of all make public actually generic repository is built with the uh, type t that is the template where t is the class now uh, in the uh, i generic repository just add the generic functions um, that is related to the each uh, models so here uh, we have some already diff, uh, already abstract methods so in the i generic repository here we have i numerable of t uh, and get all that uh, that means uh, just get all the uh, related data expression is actually related to using system dot link dot expression so resolve problems and here we have a predicate is null and using include properties is also null in the latter videos i will explain what is this include properties and predicate so here we have a get t i mean to say that uh, get by id uh, parameters you can use add new entity delete new entity delete existing entity and delete a lots of data in the shopping cart project so here we have a i generic repository abstract methods in i generic repository just you have to add so in the repository section just add a new class that is generic repository In the generic repository, just you have to add something like this from the class generic repository of t and inherited with i generic repository of t. Where it is the class name. Okay, so here we have a iGenetic repository inherited with using e-commerce app dot data access infrastructure and also implemented. Okay, all things are clear. Now the next thing is to implement these functions by using context class. Okay, so here we have some methods. So first of all, uh, add two uh, classes. The first class is application db context. By using this, you can just communicate with the classes, and so just you can add as a dependency set here. So using e-commerce app dot data access layer dot data, and then second one is the db set. So just use entity framework for. Now after that, you first of all initialize that cons uh, context in the constructor. 
generate constructor and after that set the db set underscore db set equals to uh, underscore context dot set of t okay now after that one by one you have to uh, implement all these functions by using db set okay so first of all uh, that is the add so I'll just add underscore tv set dot add entity similarly with the uh, delete underscore db set dot remove with the entity now the next one is delete range underscore db set dot remove range with entity now the next one is uh, get all in the next and uh, get by id so here we have a get all function in the get all function just implement these um, functions like i queryable of t query equals to underscore db set if predicate i mean to say that where conditions is up is not equals to null then query equals to query dot where with the predicate the next one is the include properties is actually include properties is what include properties is the name if include properties is not equals to null then use for each loop dot include properties dot split dot string options dot remove entities with the query equals to query dot include I mean to say that when uh, a product have multiple uh, a category have multiple products so one to many mapping if you want to uh, uh, product in the related category so just you can use um, uh, context dot categories dot include product so just use uh, include properties at here so query dot include items return query dot to list and get by id function there is the get t so here you can add this the same method you have to add it here like i queryable query db context include properties let's copy and paste with the same name the same thing um, applied it here okay so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos